one thing that I, I, I think is important is democracy. What's the number one thing, the number one person that I can get information to and change this and make this better? And at that time, I actually thought it was the President of the United States. I believe that if I, as an American citizen, as a voting person who have always done the right thing, always worked, always took care of my kids, I pay my taxes, I do exactly what I'm supposed to do, that if I called out to the President of the United States in earnest, that he would hear me. So I, call, I called out to him on, on uh, CNN. I'm asking you, sir, as a patriot and as an honorable person, to come and hear our stories and hear the pain that we are in. I needed to know at that point if my country and what I believed about my country was real, and I got my answer. It's not. It's not. We, we no longer are a free society. The corporations are the people, and we're under them. I have no voice. That was the lesson. What do you do if no one will hear you? You, you scream louder and louder and louder, and you stomp your feet, and nobody will still hear you? That's the most helpless feeling in the world. And that's what everybody in this whole situation has felt from the beginning. That's the tragedy of it. It's not just the fact that we lost our culture, we lost our livelihood, we lost endless amounts of wildlife. We lost our voice. In order to secure a future for our next generation, we are gonna to have to change the fight. Do it like Martin Luther King Jr. did and understand that the rights of a human for clean air and clean water are equally as important as their civil rights. I will not, under any circumstances, let my babies grow up in a world where greed and money is more important than their life. I will not do it. And I don't care if nobody stands behind me. I don't care what happens. That president, that person, the Congress, I don't care what I have to do. They are gonna hear us.